Hey everybody, it's Tommy here. This is the Richardson Family YouTube channel. If you're not a member of our channel, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell so you can get notifications when we post new content. So today I'm gonna be posting a small video of me making apple pops. I'm gonna do another video with my kids with making apple pops. So guys, just keep watching and keep going. So for this recipe, you are going to need apples. I have two left, so I'm gonna demonstrate with these. You can use any apples. It doesn't have to be the green. It could be the green, red, or the yellow ones. Also, you're gonna need some type of toppings. I have crunched up Oreos here, and I have M&Ms in this one. Also, sprinkles, make it fun for kids. I have dark chocolate sauce to drizzle on top. I also have sea salt caramel. I will be using coconut oil to melt with the chocolate. Also, I have shelled pecans that I'm going to be using. And another thing that I'm going to be using is this delicious dark 72% cacao dark chocolate bar from Trader Joe's. I have to get more. I got this little small block left. But yeah, we're going to get started. I'm taking this much of the chocolate bar and I'm going to be placing it into a random bowl. I'm also going to add a half of a tablespoon of coconut oil just to help the chocolate to melt and settle really good so we're going to be using half of a tablespoon and not the full tablespoon so you should look like this just half dump that in there we're just going to melt that and come right back so another thing i forgot to mention is that you're going to need some popsicle sticks of any kind you don't have to use sticks you can use skewers whatever you have on hand you can use them, but I'll be using these popsicle sticks. Chocolate melts hit. It should look like this. I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm going to be taking another random bowl. Taking this creamy peanut butter and putting it into the bowl so we can melt that because this can be, I would like to try peanut butter on mine. And in this peanut butter, I'm going to also be adding a little bit of honey. So we got the peanut butter in the bowl. And I'm gonna just be taking some of my honey and I'm going to be adding it right on in there. I absolutely love this honey, y'all. This is my favorite. The Nature Nate's Honey Co. So we're gonna just add a little honey and it doesn't matter. Just add as much as you want to your liking. And we're gonna melt that right on up and we'll be right back. So while that is melting, I'm gonna be taking while that's melting, I'm going to be taking my cutting board and I'm going to be taking my apples that I washed off already and I'm going to be cutting them into thick slices. Don't cut them too thin because then the popsicle stick will not stay in. You want to make sure you're cutting them correctly. So we're just going to start with our first apple. I think maybe down the middle is good. Make sure you be careful. My knife is a little dumb. I should have sharpened it beforehand. In fact, it took longer than usual. I had to get my son off the bus. He'll be assisting me with the rest of this, but they don't have to be perfect. A lot of them are a little slightly uneven. But as long as they're thick enough for the popsicle sticks to go in, that's all that matters. So we're gonna put these in the popsicle sticks. We'll be right back. All right, so you guys, I actually got Oreo crumbs inside the peanut butter, but hey, it might make it taste better. So for mine, I'm gonna be taking mine. I'm gonna move this spoon out of here right quick, y'all. Okay, get this off to the side. So I'm gonna be dipping mine in the peanut butter. Like that. Yeah, I know. I want my apple with chocolate. Do you want peanut butter? You just want chocolate on yours? So, just getting that excess peanut butter off. Then I'm going to be dipping it. I want cookie and... In the chocolate. I don't know if I should wait. I need to tap off the excess. I'm going in for the chocolate. I probably should have let it freeze for a little minute or sit, but okay. Just going to go in with it. Ooh. my 
So hold on, Josiah. You'll get yours. Let me put this one to the side because I had to double coat it. So I'm going to just be setting this on the parchment paper. And so we're going to do Josiah's and the chocolate. I don't want it to fall off the stick, buddy. Let me help you. So here's this already on there. I love it. I see. Okay, you have to wait a second. We're going to get to that point. Just give it a second. So we're tapping off the excess chocolate. Ooh, now we're going to set it on the parchment paper. So now since they're wet, I'm going to put these ones to the side. But since these are wet, we are going to put our top in See, it's getting pretty messy in here, but that's okay. Right? Because we can always clean up, right? Yes. So, I'm going to decorate mines. So, for with mines, I'm going to be using some pecans for mine. I know what. I know. I know. Because I'm going for like a turtle uh, apple slice. But I have peanut butter on it, and peanut butter is not in turtles, but it's, you know, with a twist. I got little sprinkles. And all of them might not stay on, which is okay. But it's going to stick those on there. No? You need to wait your time to help you. Then I'm going to be taking some salted caramel drizzle sauce on mine's. And we're just gonna drizzle that on. There you go. Now I'm just gonna let mine sit. So we're just gonna let Josiah do his. What do you want on yours, Jojo? M -M's. You want M&Ms on yours? And happy Come on. face. Good thing. Okay. Eyes. Eyes. And happy face. You want me to help you make a happy face? Yes. Okay. Boom. Oh. You're gonna put sprinkles on there, but you make a happy face with these because it's hard to do the sprinkles, they're too small. I wanna You wanna put your sprinkles on there? Here, put your sprinkles on yourself. This is yours. Don't get it on mine. I don't want sprinkles on mine. Look, you just nope, just there you go. You want Oreos on yours? Yes. Come on, get your Oreos. Put her, get them right here. Don't pour all of it, just a little bit. There you go. That's it. No, no. That's it. You're going a little bit out of control with it. That's it. Uh oh. I don't want no sprinkles on mine. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so we are going to do Olivia's. So I'm going to do hers and peanut butter because she loves peanut butter like mommy. These are the apples. We're just letting them settle on parchment paper. I think I might pop them in the freezer to make the process faster. But this is what we got so far. So this is my caramel peanut butter chocolate turtle apple pop. And then this is one that has Oreos and M&Ms and peanut butter and chocolate on one side. And then this one is just all chocolate with sprinkles, M&Ms, and Oreos. This one I just made. It's a marble chocolate. It was um, peanut butter and chocolate made a marble effect with uh, pecans. But I almost forgot to add the caramel sauce. I want that over. I think I'm going to add caramel sauce on this. And then I'm going to add some chocolate sauce on this one as well. Gotta add the chocolate sauce. Almost forgot. I want that to drink. Oh. So also we got this one right here that is has a little bit. It's like M and M's falling off to the side. <laughs> Sprinkles and Oreos. This one is Olivia's. Hers is dipped in peanut butter, dipped in chocolate with sprinkle hair and a rainbow M and M face. And this one's just like, I guess, kind of like a bar graph. <laughs> uh, M&M's over here and sprinkles and Oreos. So this is how they all look. We're gonna let these freeze and settle and then we're gonna show y'all the last effect of how they came out.
We're gonna try it together, but Josiah already got started, so. Ready? Mm, it's actually really good and it's not that bad. You like it? Thank you guys for tuning in. It's kind of messy. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. I will have another video posted with another fall favorite of snacks that we make. Keep watching. We love you guys. Say bye. Bye.